It is time for a first impressions just arrived video because I have the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport in cyber orange metallic. I'm telling you right now, this is a Jeep killer. That's my first impressions. I'm loving the way this thing looks. I'm loving the way it feels inside. I love the way it smells. Let's get started. In a way, this looks like a Jeep Renegade on steroids uh, with better looks, better features, better accessories. I'm loving the, the front already. Hey, what do you have? I've got a Bronco. Check out the headlights. Got the tow hooks underneath. It looks rugged. It looks like it wants to go off road. We got the uh, decals on the hood. Nice little contours there. We got the roof rack rails. It's got a sunroof as well. Let's see. Usually it's a trail rated for a Jeep. This is the first edition. Sometimes you'll have a trail rated right here on the Jeep vehicles. Got those uh, wheels nice and shiny for me. Everything about this vehicle says it should be in Dave's driveway. Bronco Sport in the back. Got the uh, backup camera there. Oh, glass. Didn't know that was there. First impressions like that. This is a, this is a Jeep feature. It'll reach in, not just Jeep, but I mean other vehicles have it too. So you have that option of reaching in versus having to do the lift gate. Look at the contours and textures on the inside. If you haven't seen one of these, when you do see it, I think you'll be surprised. I wish you could smell it. it smells actually pretty good. All right, so there's that. And then, oh, look at, okay, door, glass. Read, Dave. How about that college education? So what do we have here? Uh, oh, there is your spare tire, a full tire. Nice. That's nice and sturdy. Uh, clamps here, looks like it. Plug-in outlets, nice, 12 volt. Over here as well. Light here somewhere. Okay, these looks like they fold down. I'm not gonna fold them down right now. I'll do this one right here. So 60-40 split. I'm not gonna fold down because I wanna show you the back seat. No power, no power, so just put it down yourself. That's fine. Let's do that uh, leg room. I know this is my position as a driver already because I drove it over here, this little spot. So a little bit of room, a little bit. Some power down there, no USB ports, unfortunately. So here's this again. Fold down armrest, cup holders, okay. What's going on here? Oh, again, this is my first impressions. That's what it's all about is looking at this thing for the first time. So legroom's okay. Texture here. Nice large indent for taller passengers. I'm 5'11", so my headroom is pfft, no question whatsoever. So quite cavernous. Nice spacing in here. Looks good. Looks good. So I got the key fob on me. That just locked it, hand inside, opens it. Okay. Oh, oh, check it out, check it out. Little animation in the infotainment screen. Gonna showcase a Bronco in a second. Yes, sir. I like that, that's cool. I like these little introduction videos. Now I saw this earlier, look what happens when I hit the steering wheel. There's a degrees, uh, oops, I can't see. There's a degree that changes with the steering wheel. Let you know what you're doing there. There's also departure angle. Okay. So a combination of digital and analog for the instrument cluster. Steering wheel mounted controls, volume over here. That's nice. We've got Bluetooth, menu changes what's in the instrument cluster. So you go back. Intelligent four-wheel drive, shows the tire tire pressure, trip counter, fuel economy, good, 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 good. Oh, got paddle shifters on the underside of the steering wheel. There's a nice color screen. Tray right here for storage. Um, wireless charging pad down here. Nice, good texture down here so things don't slip around. It's a good looking climate control. Now, I did notice how easy this was to turn. Uh, here's their backup camera. Lane lines turn. They do with the steering wheel. Okay. 
Yeah, I like how easy this was to turn this dial. I got some off-road options. Trail control enabled by pushing that. That's that traction control on and off. Goat, Tom Brady mode right here. So this is going to, here, check it out. So with this, looks like, turn the dial, all your drive modes, eco. Oh, they change colors too. Slippery. I think I want this this uh, this SUV truck just to be in my driveway so I can have fun with it. This is a fun vehicle. There you go. That's all by turning this dial right here. Locking the rear. It's like you lock the rear with that. Whoops. Lock the rear with that. Cubby holes galore. It's in here. USB. Yeah. First impressions, A+. Plus. I'm not kidding, A+. Plus. All right, just first impressions of the Ford Bronco Sport. Thumbs up, big time. I'm liking it. Let me see if I like it, though, after a full week of driving and experiencing regular day-to-day -day activities with it. I might be surprised. You might be surprised. Who knows? We'll find out after a week. Thanks for watching. I'll put more information on everymandriver.com when it's all said and done. Just check back on the website for regular articles. This one will be included very soon. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.